Hello everyone. So today I want to talk about uh, issue collectors and issue collectors in Jira is a very useful old one of the oldest feature and uh, I quite li like using I quite like using issue collector and uh, I thought I'll probably talk about it because it is relevant because now we also have some other capabilities. Now issue collector is a way in Jira to let other people raise tickets or issues from outside Jira. Now, the way issue collectors work is you have to configure issue collector and you have to specify the issue type where the issues will go. And then uh, uh, whenever there is a new item, it will create an issue in your project. Now, I'm making this video because if you're using Jira work management, Jira work management also comes with this feature called forms. Now, we have looked at uh, features, uh, not features, but forms in the past where I showed you how you can use a form to uh, basically let other people raise a request in your project. But the problem with form is that you need to be Jira administrator for using this feature. For example, I have this uh, unique URL. If I copy this and if I, um, if I create a new incognito window, I can uh, basically open the link, but it will ask me to log in, which is not really ideal. I don't really think forms work with the, uh, I don't really think forms work with the, uh, um, with users who are not really authenticated. And uh, um, so if you look at the information on top, it says send a form to collect information and capture work from other teams or stakeholders in your organization. So it is not really, I don't really think it is uh, uh, some, so basically it, it was asking us to authenticate and uh, the moment you try to authenticate, it will uh, raise a request, I guess, to uh, for your administrator to give you okay, or give that person right. But that is not the case with issue collector. If you want to configure, a, configure this issue collector, you can. So if you go to project settings and if you go to issue collector, not fields, come on, Jira Cloud. Uh, so uh, let me just go back. Jira Cloud, the way Jira Cloud works is it is not really that fast. It will probably load 10 different items. <laughs> so, okay, if you click on issue collector, it will let you the option. It, it will let you uh, create a new issue collector and uh, let us do that. It will take, uh, I honestly don't like working on Jira Cloud. It is not, the experience is not the same because it's too slow. Anyways, okay, so let us add a new issue collector. And uh, I mean, what I'm trying to say is that even with the option to create a form, because even if you're using forms, you're limited by, you, you, you don't really have a lot of options to add your own custom field. So why not just use issue collector, right? It is probably you will get a JavaScript code which you can configure. So let us say you want, uh, okay, raise request. That is the name of my issue collector. Uh, use this to raise a request, uh, raise a support request, whatever. And now you have the option to map it to the type, issue type, so you can select here. And reporter is by default, let us say me, but it will also try to match uh, the user if you have that user email id already in your system now it will of course give you the option match uh, the issue reporter or uh, or basically use the reporter on top and you can also collect the browser information which i don't really care about you can also say okay what you want to i mean basically you will get a snippet like a javascript snippet which you can customize so you can always you know use your own JavaScript, right? Why not? Raise uh, re support request. And I quite like this feature because it has been, uh, it, it has been uh, this for a long time. And uh, let us use this option, prominent. And issue collector form, raise a bug. Let us use custom, why not? We want custom. Okay, so you, so I want to capture description, priority, start date, budget, components, um, attach file. Why do I have a budget here? Um, do I have this field in my project? Let me just quickly check because I, I don't really remember. Do we have the, I mean, I don't really think you can have your own custom field, but let me just go to the screen and let us 
quickly check what fields we have in our uh, in our uh, create issue screen or edit screen so we we, are, we anyways have a lot of fee so we do have a budget right which is interesting so let, let me select here uh, maybe uh, something else maybe 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 what else acceptance criteria do i have acceptance criteria do i have uh, maybe a, a not really rank come on change reason i think a change reason could be good option so let us just uh, go back and uh, refresh this because I, I need to refresh this uh, if i'm trying to add a custom form here okay not 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 the style okay custom yeah so we have like a uh, lot of options here change reason is one of so we, we have like a lot of fields that we can definitely use I, I haven't used it in a while support and uh, reporter let me just try to match my username and uh, what else okay let us select description priority component attach a file and we have the form now what you can do is you can also have uh, what else uh, i think this, this is good so let us uh, submit this and you will get a like a snippet javascript snippet and for some reason my uh, it is slow I know, I know, my internet is not slow my jira cloud is slow so let us create a new uh, a new html file so let us uh, let me just create uh, this very quickly um, i'll just name it as uh, support.html and uh, what i can do here is i can say okay i want this html i'm not really using html oh i'm using html mode okay anyways good so okay very simple um let me just copy this and uh, i will go back to my my actual file i'll open it so we have this uh, provide feedback on top and if i click on uh, this uh, button it will open up the uh, form right the change or uh, the issue collector form my keyboard not keyboard keyboard is on fire change reason repair help 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 i can also attach uh, files which is good blocker i can select here component which is good name i can uh, use my name if i want and i can uh, also use my email address because why not and submit so the moment you do it and by the way you're doing it uh, from outside jira and uh, you can also do it uh, using your own uh, custom uh, i'm doing it using incognito window uh, i need help and you can make sure that uh, this is also captured so you don't need to be logged in user and if you now go back to your uh, jira um, project of course we are in this marketing campaign project but i just wanted to show you very quickly that issue collectors is still uh, pro it's probably still the better way of doing it uh, because it is still a better way of doing it because it is going to give you the ability to um, do it from outside Jira and you have a bit more flexibility. So you have the ticket, right? And uh, the reporter is me uh, because in this case, I did mention my email address, but for the other one, it, it, it is again, it should be me because um, I am anyways set as default reporter. But the point is that it is better from using, um, because if you're using uh, forms, I am not really sure. I mean, if it's it's good. I like it, but first of all, you need you need to be logged in, and uh, you are a bit limited, right? Uh, by I think logged in is probably one good reason. I'm not I'm not really sure to be honest. If uh, let, let us just check Jira work management 
because last time I checked, I management forms. I think you need to be logged in user. Um, so if you click on this, and if you select, I mean, you have to be probably do some research. How to create? Who can submit? Okay, this is important. Who can submit a form? So both company blah 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 blah. People who submit the, the form must have access to your Jira work management project and they should have create issue permission. Why? Anyway, so yeah, you, you need to be logged in user, you need to be licensed user, but still, right? It's not the same. Anyways, that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.